Now, Russia has vetoed a U.S. draft resolution at the U.N. on extending the work of a joint probe into a deadly chemical incident in Syria earlier this year. Caleb Morpin looks at the story. The meeting began with the United States putting forward a resolution to extend the work of the joint investigative mechanism to continue its work uh, looking into allegations in Syria. Well, the vote was taken and uh, Russia blocked it as a permanent member of the Security Council. Russia blocked uh, this resolution put forward by the United States. We then heard from Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, and she was not happy with Russia's move. This is what she said. Russia has acted to obstruct these investigations many times, but today it strikes a deep blow. Russia has killed the joint investigative mechanism, which has overwhelming support of this council. And by eliminating our ability to identify the attackers, Russia has undermined our ability to deter future attacks. Now, later in the meeting, Russia and Bolivia were able to put forward a resolution that would have extended the work of the Joint Investigative Mechanism, but restricted it and, and urged it to operate in what they called a more reliant and scientific manner. Um, and this resolution, put forward by Russia and Bolivia, was also vetoed. Uh, it was voted down at the Council. It was blocked by the United States. Uh, so this is, this is what was said by the Russian ambassador to the United Nations. Uh, this was this was, was his response to Russia's proposed resolution to extend the investigation being blocked. On the basis of an investigation which does not withstand scrutiny, is derived from evidence of unclear origin, and is falling apart like a house of cards, the joint investigative mechanism has imposed a guilty sentence on the entire state of Syria. The Security Council meeting concluded with the investigation of the joint investigative mechanism of the OPCW, the investigation into chemical weapons in Syria, going to expire. Uh, no extension was agreed upon. Um, now, this is in response to the, uh, the chemical attack, uh, the alleged chemical attack in Khan Sheikhoun. Uh, Eighty people were killed back in April uh, with sarin nerve gas that was used in Khan Sheikhoun. Now, when that chemical attack took place, uh, the world had no evidence, no information had been gathered, but immediately we heard U.S. officials blame the Syrian government. Uh, the USA then unleashed 59 Tomahawk cruise missiles against a Syrian government air base. Uh, this is what we heard from U.S. officials before any facts had even been gathered. Well, Bolivia was the only country to join Russia in voting against the U.S. draft resolution at the Security Council. China and Egypt abstained. The Bolivian ambassador to the U.N., Sasha Laurenti, hope, uh, spoke exclusively to RT after the vote. We voted against that resolution because that resolution didn't represent the, uh, what we need uh, for a joint uh, uh, mechanism to, to, to do. There were many, many members of the Council that, has, uh, that have stressed uh, their concerns regarding how the joint investigative mechanism has been uh, issued in this last uh, report. We really believe that uh, the investigation should be done in situ. So for, uh, if we talk about the attack, in, uh, the alleged attack in, in Kai Shekun, so the GIM, the joint investigative mechanism, should go to that place and to collect evidence in order to have a more a transparent, independent, and complete uh, uh, investigation. There are different, different approaches to that, uh, but I think there's a common ground. The common ground is that there should be investigations, and the ones that commit this kind of war crime should be held uh, accountable. Uh, if they, the nations that are around that table, the one of the Security Council, are united, it means that there should be compromise, they should, they should engage in negotiation, they should try to accommodate uh, the interests of uh, uh, all of them.